we're not exactly sure with, with this fuzzy line between consciousness and unconsciousness and sleeping and dreaming and it's all going on and on in one cycle but we're not exactly sure what 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 part of it we're playing all the time we have to hit on things to be sure i mean how many times have you had dreams where you oh, oh it's a dream it's a dream how do you not know that knocking on things isn't a fucking dream? The, the whole idea that you can dream, the idea that you can imagine, the idea that there's some, some mystical part of your brain that sees things that aren't really there and puts them into position and moves them around and gives you a little fucking cartoon. What the fuck is that? I mean, we don't know shit. You know, we know a lot. I mean, we're brilliant in comparison to cavemen, but in comparison to understanding just the very nature of the universe and when you, you know, subatomic particles and all fucking rules go out the window when you go subatomic. You know, they have things called, where, where a particle can be in a, in a super state, where it's in a state of moving and it's still at the same time. What the fuck does that even mean? And the idea that you can look at something and as you're looking at it, you change the behavior of it. The observer actually changes the actual atoms that, that, are, that, are, that are moving. And what the fuck? How is that possible? We don't know. So to say that people know a lot, yeah, we know a lot for people. We know a lot for people. But there's some shit that we don't understand at all. They don't even know why the universe stays together. They don't know why it doesn't just fly apart. I'm, I'm thinking that this whole thing might be someone's imagination. It might be your imagination. It might be my imagination. It might be a combination of everyone's imagination. I mean, things are real. They, there's real laws to this life. But it, God damn it, operates like a work of fiction. I'm not sure what this is, and I don't think you are either. I think you can pretend that you're sure because it makes you feel better at night, and you can, you know, you can pretend that everything that you can't you can't hit with a hammer isn't real, and it's just your imagination. It's yeah. just what it, what the fuck is consciousness, man? What is this? What is life? What is this idea that oh, I'm gonna call Bert Kreischer and ask him to come over to my house, and yeah. Bert somehow or another navigates his way through space and time and arrives at my doorstep, yeah. and uh, us friends get to communicate, and we're talking into some fucking thing <laughs> that takes all of our voice and uh, all the shit that we say and throws it through some internet and breaks it down That's to ones and zeros, where it's then interpreted by other people's computers in real time. What the fuck is this? Don't tell me you know what this is. This is bizarreness. It is. If life wasn't real, it would be the craziest psychedelic trip ever. It's almost like what a real psychedelic trip is, is something you're not used to. Something you're not, it just throws you off. Yeah. But life itself is the most uber bizarre thing ever. We don't know that this universe that we exist in right now is the only universe. We don't know whether or not there are not infinite universes that exist side by side next to each other, and it's the human mind that guides you in one direction from one to another, and that they're all parallel, they're all coexisting in the same sphere. We don't understand the universe. We don't understand any of this stuff. They're just now starting to think that inside every black hole is another universe. Wrap your fucking head around that. They think this is a, a new theory among scientists, not people like me, but among scientists. They believe that inside every galaxy is a supermassive black hole. And the newest theory is that inside every supermassive black hole is another universe with hundreds of billions of galaxies, each with a black hole at the center, each containing another universe with hundreds of billions of galaxies. We have no fucking idea. Life might be just one frame in an infinite movie that lasts forever. 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 The imagination is the real force behind the, the evolution. What imagination truly is, is we think of it as like, oh, I can see things, I can work around problems, I have this idea. But when you imagine an idea, when you imagine a product, you imagine how to d d design an engine for a car, and you're when your your imagination has this idea for this thing and then you build it and design it and boom it's there that thought 
what there there was no thought of that before it existed it's not that people were running around thinking of the car and yeah. i know what it's going to look like there was no thought of it you created this or it came to you there was a something from nothing something from from what is that from the ether something from these even if it's just these synapses firing in your mind where is the, what is the signal what is the root of this signal It is possible that the imagination is something that is information that is out there, like the, the idea of the Akashic Records, the idea of uh, that there's shit out there and that what we are is little antennas. And that when we tune into something, if we pick up this, this signal for the engine and someone picks that up, excellent. Once that piece is in place, oh, and then it flowers and blossoms like, like a yeah. Fibonacci sequence on a fucking uh, yeah. uh, a sunflower. You know, it all bursts out, you know, exponentially in certain directions. And then that starts creating more inventions, with all, which also burst out. You know, but all of them emanate in the imagination initially. All of them have to be thought up. All of, all of them have to be created. Even photographs and things that we, you know, haven't experienced but can see, you know, like things that are in the galaxy and planets and shit. I mean, we, we use these and we have this, this whole map of our universe. But that's just what we see right now. There, it's just, our, it's only limited by our ability to think outside what we've already seen. The, the universe could be infinitely fucking bizarrely complicated to the point where every different dimension has its own laws and rules and every different universe exists in the center of every single black hole like that's that might be all real shit like it might be so fucking infinite and crazy we maybe can't see it what am i doing i'm piloting this fucking flesh vehicle around this, 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 some, there's some sort of a dimension filled with other flesh vehicles. If I didn't know what this was, if I came from no, no, you know, no judgment whatsoever, just a total neutral point, and I looked at just human behavior moving around on the planet, I would be like, this is the most psychedelic shit ever. Just us. We're, we're like the craziest character in a fucking movie. I think the imagination is something that we're not taking as, as seriously as we should be. I think your mind doesn't just control things in a sense that you bring things out of the ether, you bring things out of your imagination and bring them and manifest them in the real world, but I think your mind actually has an effect on how things go in the real world. If you believe in things, if you believe in things, they have incredible power over you, both good and bad, you know? And who's to say that's not real? You know, there's like the, the idea of the placebo effect, like I give you a sugar pill and all of a sudden you feel better because you thought I gave you medicine. Well, still you feel better, you know? People have actually been cured of ailments because of the placebo effect. So what the fuck is happening? You know, there's a direct correlation between positive energy and positive results in the physical form. You know, they're all connected. I believe that the life that we're in right now, that this, this, this existence that we all participate in may very well be just a station on a radio dial, an infinite radio dial. And that you and I, we're on the phone and we're on 107.1, but there's a, you know, 105.1 right down the dial and everybody's fucking blue with big giant black eyes and they all move through solid objects and they don't need water and they don't breathe air. You know, there, there might be an infinite number of worlds all around us all the time. Life might be like radio. Life might be like radio.